Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yerk Chaudhry and today I'll be teaching you the basic steps or like the first beginner steps on how to use an abacus. In this video I'll be teaching you how to hold an abacus properly, uh, how to do short clear, and what the value of the beads are on the abacus. So let's get started with the video. So the first step in learning how to use the abacus is how to hold an abacus properly. So. First of all, we're going to take our index finger and pinky from our left hand and place it on the left side of our abacus. And we're going to take our thumb, index finger, pinky, put it on the bottom and then the thumb here. And then the pointer finger and middle finger should be pointing out, just like this. Now, for your right hand, all you're going to do is hold the abacus from this side, the thumb on the other side and all the other fingers holding it from here. But you will sometimes need to move it to uh, arrange your beads. Second step you need to learn for beginners is how to do a short clear. Now what is a short clear? For example, if your abacus tilts over and this happens, all of these beads fall down, how do you bring them back up? What you're going to do is take your right right hand pointer finger and lay it down like a dead man and just do it like this. If you do it sideways, you can break your nail. So it's best if you do it like there's a dead man and just roll it across so that all the beads go back up. Step I'm going to teach you is the value of the beads because like you have no idea what number or what value are the beads. So, first things first, you're gonna look at these dots. Yours may look different, it may have a red bead, that's the same thing. So you're gonna look at these dots, and then you're gonna look at which one's in the middle. For in my case, it's this one. This would be the home rod. Anything in front of it would be a whole number, and anything behind it would be a decim decimal number. But we're not going to focus on the le right side. We're only going to focus on the left side, because these are in the decimal numbers, which you will need to learn in more advanced levels. So once you find the home rod, hold your backus like this, and the home rod is the ones digit. So that's where all the ones digits go. So for example, this bead equals one. This bead then two, then three, then four. You can get that one. But now you're gonna ask, how do you make nine? And what is this one bead for? It actually, when you put this down, this, these, all of these beads are the value of five. And the ones that are uh, below the dot are all values of one. So if you do this, it wouldn't be five, it'd be nine because this is a value of five and this would be value of four because one plus one plus one plus one equals four. And then you always have to remember that this bead equals five. So for example, if I subtracted two, this would be seven because uh, on the top bead, there's five and then two on the bottom, five plus two is seven. Then let's do minus five. This would be two because there's no five or the top bead is not like this and it's not value of five. So it'd be one plus one equals two. And let's do one more. We'll do plus six. So to do plus six, what you're gonna have to do is take the top bead and since it's the value of five, we're gonna put it. And then six minus five is one then you're going to need one of the one valued beads just like that and now our answer is eight well i, I hope this video helped you guys a lot on learning the basic steps on how to use a abacus for beginners i hope in the future to make even more abacus videos with more advanced and new steps 
and remember to always comment down below anything you're having issues on i'll always try to help you guys out so i hope this video helped you guys a lot and i'll see you guys next time but before the video ends remember to hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time